what's up guys and welcome back to my channel now in this video i'll show you how to edit thumbnail on your iphone now this is basically a highly requested video so i'm going to show you guys the step-by-step -step process of how to edit thumbnail on your iphone so the first step when making a thumbnail is to plan ahead of time you have to have it in mind where you want to place the text on your thumbnail so first you have to take a couple pictures probably i advise you take at least one 10 pictures before you start to film your videos. So you're gonna do it like this. So now what I'm going to do is to take the um the selfie or the thumbnail that I want to put in my videos. So now I'm gonna take a couple pictures, probably about 10, like this. So I'm gonna point at something at the road that I want to display in my thumbnail. So I'm gonna take it like right now. Now I'm gonna start the editing process. Now for this editing process, we are going to use two apps, which is PicArt and Fonto. So you can download them from the Play Store. So the app that we are going to use first for this process is PicArt. So what you're going to do is open up PicArt and import your photo that you want to edit for your thumbnail. Now after you have imported your photo, what you want to do is resize it so that it fills the screen. Now we are going to choose the cutout tool so we can cut out the image from the background. The tool that I'm going to use for this process is the outline tool. So I'm going to stick the outline tool and outline the photo that I want to cut out. step what I want you to do now is to save your image after you save your image you're going to open a new project when you open a new project you're going to import your background after you have import your background you're going to go on sticker and import the image that you have cut out so you're going to search for it and import the sticker that you have cut out now once you have import the sticker you can also reposition it to where you want it on the canvas so what I'm doing now is basically giving it enough space where I can place my text on the screen so I don't want to make my text look jumbled up so I want to give it some adequate amount of space where I can do my typing another features that we can take advantage of in this process is adding highlight to our borders so we can always add our highlights Right, so we can choose the type of color that we want to highlight it so it give it a more pop look but in this process i'm not going to add any borders to my image i'm going to keep it plain and safe so next i want to save it and exit now this process has been complete what you want to do is go on counter and open it now once the app has been open what you're going to do you will see a blank area, work area with some grid. Yes. So we are going to click on it and draw on the canvas. Once you have drawn the canvas, you will see a menu comes up. When the menu comes up, you are going to click on plain image. You're going to click on plain image, you're going to go on the blank area. Now in this process we want to customize our width now the width should be 12 1280 by 720p that's aspect ratio for the thumbnail you're gonna click save and use 
And once you click save and use, you want to add your image that you have saved from PicArt. So I'm going to add my image now. Yes, there is it. Now on this canvas, we can also change the shape, right? So the lot of shape you can change from. But we're going to stick with um, our normal image. So what you're going to do now is resize it so that it fill up all of the canvas. So I'm going to resize it. Yes, so it fit perfectly. Yes, I'm going to Alright. So it fit um, the canvas perfectly. Right. Seems like it's a little bit um, more than the size. So now we can tap on the screen our text. So in the text area, we are going to add our text. So on the style, we have a, you realize that we have a different um, font we can choose from. So we're going to put in our text, which is YouTube. Yes, yeah, so we're going to put in our text, YouTube. Right, so we can always add our styles and border. So I'm going to change the, the text to black. I'm going to change now the stroke to a different color. Change the background of it. Now I'm changing the background.
out so now i have finished edit my text now i want to add some image but you realize that there is no image in here that i want to use so i'm going to save it and after i'm going to save this image i'm going to open back big arts now i'm going to import the project that i've just been saved from fronto now once the project is open i'm going to now add my stickers so i'm going to search it and put this one right here 